Hello one and all, welcome back to The Long Dark. Yes, it's been a while. I'm terribly sorry, it has been a week since uh, we last did any Long Dark. And there has been a very good reason why things have been a little bit calamitous this week. Uh, unfortunately, I've had very, very little time uh, since I got back from my holiday sort of a couple of weeks ago. Things have gone a little bit dramatic, but... Uh, it's all settling down now. We have the time. We're back in the long dark. Now, the only downside with this is... Uh, this is video number 21, by the way. Uh, the um, only downside, of course, is that it's been such a long time since I played. It's been a, a couple of weeks, actually, since I played the game. That I actually can't really remember where we were up to and what the plan was. I know where we are. We are in uh, trap uh, We are in uh, logging camp. Trying to find the bear. But I can't remember which way around I came. I think, if I remember, did I come down the hill? I think I was I was making my way back to camp office. I think that's what I was doing. Um, what kind of food have I got? Yeah, I think I was making my way back to camp office. I'm fairly sure that's what I was doing. So, let's keep going with that. We are in pretty good shape as it stands. We want to bring our rifle out. Let's get out. So we've managed to get two shots into the bear. Now, I think in the last video we figured out exactly what we've got to do. We've got to have six bear encounters. Um, and we have to get six bullets into the bear. However, it doesn't count if we get multiple bullets. I'm just really going the wrong way. Uh, it doesn't count if we uh, get multiple bullets in in the same encounter. It only counts if they are in different encounters. So... It looks like we're basically going to have to find the bear in every one of its preferred uh, little hangouts. This is one of them, but I don't think we can see it lurking around anywhere. It's quite a wide, it's quite a large area that it could potentially be in, but it is roughly here. But uh, I can't see it, so I don't think we're going to find it here right now. I think, uh, if I recall, at the end of video number 20, it is sort of slowly coming back to me. At the end of video number 20, we were kind of just uh, getting ready to to go and try and find the bear by looping back through here and heading towards camp office. And I was generally expecting the bear to be not too far away from camp office. That's where I was expecting it to be, so... I think that's probably going to be our best shot. Let's keep going this way. Yes, this week has been very busy. Uh, I found myself a new job, which has been great. Uh, obviously, that means that I'm leaving my current one. Uh, which is not so great. It's It's been a, a few months. It's only been a few months. But it's time to move on. And uh, move on to pastures new. A little bit closer to home. Which is the kind of important bit. Gives me a little bit more time in the day. A bit less commuting. A bit less travelling. So I can concentrate on other things. Such as the long dark. And uh, trying to grow this channel a little bit more. Obviously, I'm conscious that I am only playing the long dark at the moment. It is a little bit niche, so it's not to everyone's tastes. I want to try and expand on that a little bit. So, uh, a few bits of news. Firstly, I am going to keep going with this uh, weekly video log. Uh, obviously, we started it with a tiny little bit in France, but uh, I'm going to try and do a proper sort of 20 minute one um, moving forwards every week. Uh, I'm also going to start playing a few more games, and I have been sort of practicing around and doing a few other things. And uh, obviously, we're going to carry on with the long dark. I'm going to do a tutorial series fairly soon, and uh, we're also going to be doing some Subnautica. Get back into Subnautica, Raft as well, and Minecraft, and a couple of others that I've been playing with, which will appear in the video logs as we continue. But of course, the long dark is going nowhere. Right. So, the area around derailment was another potential location for the bear, so let's keep our eyes peeled. I can't remember if it's the area directly around derailment or if it's the area just beyond it from where we are now. So let's just keep our eyes peeled. 
It's a bit of a long and arduous quest that we have here to sink many bullets into this bear. I am working on the assumption that it is going to go to each of the marked favourite locations on the map because we're going to get six bullets into it, the six marked locations, so it would make sense it's going to go to each of them once. So if we know we've encountered it in one place, it means we're not going to encounter it somewhere else. So we've already encountered it at Trapper's Cabin and we've encountered where, where, we, where did we have the second encounter? It was near and named Pond, wasn't it? So that was the second encounter. I'm pretty sure... Obviously Clearcut is another location. This is another, so that's two of the remaining four. Uh, the other one is um, over by Logging Camp. And then there is another one which is up in the woods between Unnamed Pond or around Unnamed Pond and Trapper's Cabins. And I'm, I, I think that's probably a location I thought we'd been through and seen it in, but we haven't, so... But it's not around here. So, what's that over there? Is that a... Is that a tempting little box? Randomly buried? So it is. Ooh, that's handy. Rifle cartridge. That's useful. Because I was running short of them. We've got a full clip now. Which I think is... T is that ten shots of full clip? That's handy, because obviously we have had to do some hunting as well. We've had to bring down a couple of deer for food. So I've had used a few shots for that. We've also had a few shots of the bear that we... Well, we brought home, but that didn't count, which was a bit frustrating. It does look like we've got to bring the, hit the bear in each of these locations. So, because I definitely got two shots into it at the last encounter, and only one of them counted, which was a bit frustrating. Okay, so we're going to head back into camp office. Now, last, I have traditionally kind of been just going past it and heading straight back to Trapper's Cabin, but this time I am actually going to come into camp office. I'm going to have a warm, and then we're going to uh, see if we can think about heading to the next potential location. And I'm going to have to have a quick nosy on the map. See if I can figure out where that is best is going to be. Now obviously we have left some stuff behind in here. I don't think there's any food in here because I think we've already come in scavenged for that. Uh, there's a bit of water so we'll take that. It saves us from having to do any uh, any water. Let's just check our water level actually. Oh, okay, well, okay for water. Let's just eat some of this food. We may as well get our calorie count pretty much up to the top. Not all the way up to the top. Yep, and then we'll drink. Why are you complaining about eating snow? You don't have to, we've just eaten venison. Right, okay, so we're actually in pretty good shape right now. Um, I probably don't need to really stay in here, to be honest. We can probably just carry on. Let's just bring up the map. Because I just want to check. So, that's the area between derailment and camp office. We haven't seen it there. Uh, this is the area opposite logging camp. We've not seen it there. We haven't seen it in clear cut either. So there's three locations where we haven't seen it. We've seen it in Frozen Creek. We actually saw it sort of around about here. This location is one we haven't seen it in, which is not far from Trapper's Cabin. So I think that's where we need to go next. So we need to go into Deadfall. And then we need to carry on through Deadfall and then sort of blend around to the left a little bit and go straight forward. And hopefully we'll find it there. If we don't... I think we're going to have to uh, probably come back up to camp office again and then do another loop uh, and sort of head back around and try and find it. So, let's go and see if we can find this bear. I've also noticed if you do connect, if you do manage to hit the bear, it, won't, it, it stops its attack on you. It runs away. So that's quite good. So we know that if we manage to hit it, it is not going to attack us, it is going to run off, and it appears to completely run off to the next location, which is good as well, although we probably still want to try and get ourselves into somewhere vaguely safe. I don't want to... I don't want to I'm trying not to die, because obviously in survival mode it is permadeath, if you die you die and that's the end of it, but in, uh, 
Winter Meat, you can actually reload, and I have done, I'm going to be honest, well, as you know, if you've watched the playthrough all the way through, we have died a few times, and we have come back to life, which I kind of feel is a little bit cheating. But equally, <laughs> I don't want to have to go all the way back to the beginning of Winter Meat and start all over again, so... I think uh, we can kind of just foot it slightly and get away with it. So as we carry on, let's go see if we can find this bear. So yeah, basically at the minute, this entire winter view is, is really focusing on trying to find and hunt down this blasted bear. Which is, uh, it's annoying that we've got to get six shots into it, but they've all got to be at different locations because it certainly looks that way. Let me pick up, actually I'm going to pick some sticks up as I walk past them because I'm not sure how much firewood I've got. I am going to eventually need some. So I'm not going to completely ignore them. Okay, so we're coming into Deadfall. Now in theory, according to the map, we shouldn't find it around Deadfall. But we may still find wolves, so we're going to keep our eyes peeled. Part of me is wondering, if we get to the end of here and it's not there, whether it might actually be worth just swinging back up to Trapper's Cabin in case it's gone back. Whoa! Whoa! It's a wolf. It's a wolf. I can hear a wolf. I did say that there may be wolves, and there was. Well, I'm hoping that said wolf, if it does stalk us, which it is, will uh, get distracted by the deer and the bunny rabbits. So I'm going to... Sort of do a bit of a brave Sir Robin and run up here, swing over here and hope the wolf gets slightly distracted. And it appears that he has. That's exactly what we wanted. Right, okay, so we'll go, we've we gone through Deadfall. We want a bear to the left. Well, I'm hoping there's going to be a bear to the left. That is the general intention of what we're doing here. I didn't say that on purpose, by the way. That was a totally accidental pun. Um, right, let's keep our eyes peeled then. See, I, I am a little nervy because, oh, partly because there's another wolf there. Oh, we're gonna be, we're gonna be. Ay! Okay, that wasn't good. How? Right. Okay, let's bring our gun back out and let's deal with our medical situation. I've only got one bandage. You realise that? Okay. Okay, let's apply the antiseptic. Now, it's a little bit more complicated now because obviously our health is a little bit depleted. So if we do end up encountering the bear and tussling with it, we're going to have a bit of a problem. I was trying to avoid that. Um, okay, let's come through the trees then. Obviously, we're. I think we're coming up to the area that's marked on the map being one where the bear might be. We have got the benefit that the bear does rear up. So far I've managed to hit the bear every time I've tried so I'm guaranteed to muck it up at some point. Okay I think this is the area that's marked on the map. It's this area here. I ain't seeing the bear. But we came through clear cut on the way, didn't we? We swung around and we've come through clear cut. So unless it's to be over there, is it? Because that's heading back towards the main pond. Unless it's, I don't know. Okay, let's just keep our eyes open. We'll kind of loop around here. We'll head back towards Trapper's Cabin, see if it's there. I thought this bear was meant to be hunting us. I didn't think we were supposed to be hunting it. Because we've obviously got this cut on our hand with the blood. I thought the bear was supposed to be hunting us. I didn't think we were having to go around and hunt for the bear. See, I'm not. I'm now not convinced I am in the right place. I think it might be slightly further that way. But what I'm going to do... We'll head back up towards Trapper's Cabin. 
and we shall see if it's there. It'll be interesting to see if it has returned to a previous location. It's uh, this is, the whole thing is kind of tense and kind of annoying at the same time, to be honest. The whole way we're having to kind of hunt around the map to try and find this bear that keeps moving. Okay, so we're coming back up on Trapper's Cabin. We'll stay high for the moment. Let's see if it's lurking. It's not obviously lurking. That's Tinder. Okay, so it's not obviously lurking around here. Not that I can see, anyway. You know, I'm pretty convinced that it's not going to come back to a location we've already caught it at. So I think it's not going to come back here. It's going to uh, it's going to be at one of the locations. However, I'm fairly sure we've been past them all on our travels, unless it is moving between locations and we're kind of chasing each other around in circles, which is a bit annoying to be honest. Okay, well let's have a warm... Feel my feet. Let's have a warm inside the hut. We may find ourselves having to have a sleep in, in here as well. What's the time of day? We're okay actually, time-wise, but we are getting a bit tired, so... I think what I'm going to do, let's just chop this down on the floor. We'll do a couple of hours of sleep. That'll warm us back up, that'll get our fatigue level back up a little bit. And then I think what we'll do, and that'll also bring our condition back up slightly from that wolf attack. So, overall, that's probably a good thing. We are heading now into dusk, though. That's the only problem. Let's, we'll just pick up our bedroom. I don't really want to go looking for it at night, because it's not going to be very easy. Let's have a quick look outside. I mean, weather condition-wise, it's not too bad at the moment. I reckon we could probably get back to Unnamed Pond. So let's let's go for it. Hopefully, we've got enough time to get ourselves back to Unnamed Pond. We do a little bit of sprinting. So if we can get back to Unnamed Pond. Obviously, we've got the hut nearby that we can shelter in overnight, and we'll pass through, hopefully, the area where we think it may be, because it's the only place where I've been that's marked on the map, or where I... well, it's the only place I see I've been through everywhere else, so unless it is moving around, it's going to be here, in this location between here and Unnamed Pond, and I haven't just... I just haven't quite got it in the right... I haven't quite gone through it. I also don't know how broad the kind of range is around where the mark on the map is that the bear's going to be in, so... All in all, it's still a bit hit and miss, to be honest, as to whether we're going to find it or not. It won't help if we do end up in a whiteout, either. We'll do a bit of sprinting here. I'm I'm very good at completely missing unnamed ponds. So I'm gonna try not to do that for once. Let's come up come up here. I nearly always miss unnamed pond, I'm an expert at it. I'm, if I can just hold hold to the left, hopefully we won't. I have a I have a horrible horrible feeling we're going to wind up spending the next few videos just going round and round and round in circles trying to find this bear. That's my worry. Right, I'm just going to nudge this way a little bit. I'm just going to look over here just to see if we find it. Well, here's Unnamed Pond, so we're back at Unnamed Pond. Okay, 
it's not here. But then I wasn't expecting it to be. And that's Frozen Creek coming over that way. So our hut is up this way. So let's see. Maybe something over here. Just, uh, Uh, okay, so I suppose the best thing we can do then is uh, sort ourselves out here for the night and uh, go and do another loop. About our only option, really. So, in we go. Uh, yeah, I'm starting to get a little bit frustrated, to be honest. Right, so, let's drink. Gonna need sort of water out as well, I think, at some point. So if we then sleep, so if we sleep for eight hours, let's see what that does to us. Kind of just trying to get ourselves through the night, and then get ourselves all set ready to carry on back round the loop again. Okay, probably just need to eat a piece of this venison. I hope that's cooked. I think it is. I think we're okay. Right, okay, let's do probably five hours. Hopefully that should drop us through to the morning. And then we'll be good to go again, just to carry on. There we are. So we're all sorted. So we're all good to go. Uh, the deer hides I've got in here are cured. So I've got two cured deer hides. Three, uh, no, two cured and one that's partially cured. Oh, the weather doesn't sound very good. This could be a bit of a problem. Oh dear. Well, it's okay. It's windy. It's windy. Visibility's okay. It's not great traveling weather. Let's uh, let's just sleep for a couple of hours. See if it improves any. So it might improve if I do two hours. There we go. Let's just do two hours. See if it improves any outside. Well, the wind noise has died down. That's always a good sign. Let's get outside again. Hopefully the weather's all right out here. Please don't be a whiteout. Please don't be a whiteout. There we go. That's what we want. Right, okay, perfect weather. So, let's go. Uh, actually, before we do go, let's have a quick look at the map, because I'm going to get a bit lost here. So, we're coming up from Unnamed Pond, and we can loop around towards a clear cut, I think, because we're here. But we can, we've kind of come here, and I think if we climb over the hill, we end up coming around the back of clear cut, don't we? So, yeah, we can do that. So, let's do that. Let's go for it. Hopefully we'll find the bear in the clear cut. I I'm pretty sure if the bear appears in in or if we pop up in the general area where the bear is, it will charge us. Now, that's not what normally happens with bears in the long dark. Normally you can get reasonably close to them without them charging. Um, but obviously because it's hunting us. It's slightly different. Right, okay. We're back into clear cut again. We've got lots of deer around. No sign of a bear. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, that's not a bear. <sighs> Let's just kind of walk out a little bit further. I don't normally walk too far into clear cut, to be honest. But I'm going to this time in the hope, just in case it's lurking over at the far side. It's got to be around somewhere. This map's only so big. <laughs> I've never actually been over here, you know, strangely. Right, so, absolutely nothing over where, in this location, where we think it's supposed to be. 
Um, so, I suppose the best thing I can do is head back through to Longing Camp again. But it just seems so strange if it's moving about. Let's let's just try. Let's just try kind of coming up into the woodland a little bit and going round this side. This for me is a genuinely new experience because I have never been over here before. So let's just kind of loop around the back here, between here and the other location. Just see if it springs up. I have never been over this site before, so this is a genuinely new experience. Then we'll, uh, well, if we don't find it, we'll come back into logging camp and uh, I don't know what to do, to be honest, because we've done a complete circuit. Any bears around? Any other bears? No, there isn't. Okay, so still not found it. Okay, so let's head back this way again then. Again, this is part of the thing. I don't know if this bear is, is just gone to one of the other locations and has stayed there and we've just somehow walked past it, or if it is actually moving around and we're kind of going round and round behind it and we're missing each other. It'd be quite comical if that is what's happening. Part of me is actually wondering whether it might be worth just staying in one location for a bit. And sort of just coming out and walking around outside and just seeing if it uh, if it appears. But you never know; it might. I think I'm right. What we'll do? We'll head to the logging camp. We'll call it a day for this video, I think. And then next video, we'll head over to that side of, of this area and see if we if we do stumble across it on the far side because uh, it's starting to get a little silly. Now. Where, where this bear has got to. Usually when I say that, it appears from behind me and rips my face off. Okay, so let's head inside then. We're not having much luck here, are we, finding this bear? Uh, right, well, what we'll do then, we'll call it, we'll call it quits for this video. Uh, so we've had a lap. We're, we're actually right back where we started, so it's almost as if this video hadn't happened. Uh, but we have had a lap, we've gone round the locations that are marked on the map, we've gone back through derailment, we've gone to camp office, gone back across Trapper's Cabin, come back through clear cut, come back to logging camp, and we've still not found the bear. So I don't know where the bear is, I don't know if it's just gone to one location, it's staying there, and we're just missing it, or if it is actually moving around between locations and we're kind of chasing each other. And missing each other which is entirely possible so we'll we'll do a little bit more detailed exploration of the various areas this time in case he's hiding behind a tree or something we've just not seen it <coughs> excuse me and then hopefully we'll find it because we've still got four more shots to put into this bear so once we've found it this time we're gonna have to start this whole process all over again to find it again and then again and then again before we can finally bring this bear down so I was kind of hoping that we could get to the end of the Wintermute playthrough, this chapter, and move on and go to the dam and see what happens next. But it's, it's, I think we're quite a way off at the moment by the looks of things. But right now I am going to say thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you again very, very soon for some more on Dark. See you again soon.